art expo and uh, today we're finishing up a Lord of the Rings painting that I started um, two days ago just uh, check and make sure the stream is live yep we're good and chat is going okay uh, today I was just gonna add some just a short stream today maybe an hour um, just to add some fire and smoky things around the castle to the city yeah far beyond a castle that's the city for sure <laughs> um, I'll maybe I'll lighten up the background behind the Rohirrim a little bit. I want to do that first, just so my hand isn't possibly resting on it. Yeah, this should be mostly dry since yesterday. Cool. I use a couple mediums that speed the drying time up quite a bit. Which is very helpful. Okay, make sure I don't dip my sleeves in my paint, which I've done many times. Yeah, I wanted to get mainly back here in this purpley section. Let's see, this is where it's hard because. I gotta get right in there and see what I'm doing. Making some sort of a greenish purple. Hi there, Rebecca. Don't want it to be too colorful though, it's gotta be very gray. See, this should be mostly dry. Yeah, we're good. It's my big head in the way, totally. <laughs> it's hard to. Here's what I can do also. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. There we go. Because I have to be able to lean in here and see what I'm doing. Go a little lighter. things where you can barely see it like oh, I want it to be a little it's not it's supposed to be subtle but not that subtle So just making a little more light on the horizon, I guess you could say. I can continue that light up here so it's part of the, the clouds and not just behind these guys. Uh, hi there, Becky. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, there are prints of this piece available. Um, there should be a link on uh, your streaming window there. Um, 
you can pre-order prints of this piece before I'm even finished with it. And all of our Lord of the Rings pieces are 25% off right now, which I've done. This is my eighth Lord of the Rings piece. So welcome to click on that link and peruse what you've got or pick one of these up as well. Yeah, that's better. Now you can see those guys a lot better. With their little banners waving and stuff. A little tacky up here. I really got to be careful. <laughs> you can do a touch more. There you go. So it kind of blends upward a little bit. Cool. That's better. See, there's little tiny touch-ups like that that I'm doing today. Nothing super major. Super major. Smoke and atmosphere and that kind of stuff is what I'm doing. As long as it's dry enough. For the most part it is. softer brush too. That I can use for this kind of stuff. Maybe we'll do some mist coming off of the mountain a little bit here. That'll be nice. Some sort of light yellowish greenish blue. I still have to be careful I don't yank up any paint that's still drying. Don't want necessarily a bunch of brush marks here either. some glowy stuff over here. In fact, I can put a little bit of a mist over this whole part of the city. That might help push it back a little further. some distance or just smoky things going on here there we go it's a little better Hi there, Trudy. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Um, yeah, please uh, follow us online, uh, whatever streaming service you're watching. If you want to see more of these videos, um, check out the link there to buy prints. They're 25% off. We also have a Patreon page if you'd love to subscribe and support the gallery. Um, for just a, a little as a buck a month, you can support what we're doing. Um, but then we have cool rewards for, for higher subscriptions, so check that out. Um, see, that's what this painting needs right now is just some atmospheric stuff. I was thinking this is going to have to dry a lot longer. 
but uh, I'm realizing that this medium I'm using does help it dry really fast. For the most part, most of it's dry the next day. Yeah, this just needs some smokiness. Make it look bigger and more. Um, lower that a little bit. A little more vast. I'm actually checking my work too in the in the monitor there. Seeing it on the monitor helps me sort of see it from a different angle. Like looking at it in a mirror or through my phone or something, it's helpful. Makes it look a little more desolate. Um, hey Luke, how's it going? Yeah, that, I, my, I specialize in rim lighting, so yeah, <laughs> that's my thing. I'm like, oh, any excuse I can find to put that in there. I'm always down for that. Um, Yeah, let's do some fun smoky stuff here. Maybe we'll put some right here even. See, this won't take long at all. I knew this this is the sort of quick finishing touch part. How does this look up here? Nice extra smoky sort of color for these clouds up here. Across. The keel, is that what this is called? The, this blade of, of rock down the center of the city? It's a good word for it. Alright, I don't want to just cover the whole thing in fog. It's got to be well placed. Maybe a little more yellow up here, or maybe some of the smoke is catching some of the light. Nice. Maybe it's drifting up like that. A little bit of hair.
See this kind of thing, it's, you can't really do it when the painting is still wet. It's got to be a little more dry. Okay, that looks pretty good. I don't want it to be a blazing inferno. Um, this is the Battle of Minas Tirith. Uh, Tyson. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, this is Minas Tirith with the orc army. And then here in the horizon, um, you really can see it better in person, um, is uh, the, uh, the Rohirrim arriving at dawn there. Uh, let's do a little bit of fire. Fire. It's going to be a little more dulled. Let's say there's some there. Yeah, there's sort of just a fire. Here and there. Want it too brightly colored. So underneath the first level looks like this. They're probably taking the most sort of damage. some fires over here like there's little flaming cannonball things are shooting maybe they're preparing those Just a light touch. A couple up here, higher ones. Maybe there's lots of fire stuff going on around the front here. Maybe one of the orc towers is on fire too. That's a rager going on there. Look at that. Close enough to see any more brighterness than that. Uh, yeah, Luke, that's actually the point. Um, this is definitely the darkest part of the battle, figuratively and literally. The you know the dark cloud that, that, that extends from Mordor to cover the orcs so they can travel in daytime, um, and of course it's just getting out of the nighttime, so it literally was dark. And now we see the dawn as the Rohirrim arrives. So you have this sliver of hope in this pretty, pretty dark, bleak landscape. Um, I definitely don't want it to be so dark where you can't see what's going on. I might lighten up a couple spots in here just so it's not like this dark black pile. Definitely need a different brush than that, though. Like make a little bit more lighter color earth poking out here and there. So you can see the spaces in between the regimens a little better. Oh, 
a lot of this now is just dry brushing. But uh, yeah, it's fine. I think the, the, the fun part about this painting is the closer up you get, the more you see this is all just loose brushwork. But if, when you get back far enough, it looks like uh, an orc horde, you know. <laughs> It's only been 20 minutes. Uh, I'm like, didn't really need much. Just those extra little touches are all it takes to, to really bring it together, you know. I can do a little more around the bottom edge of this city here. I wanted to sort of make it floating in sort of a mist, and less like, oh, here's the bottom edge of this city just sitting on the ground, you know. this atmosphere that makes it look distant. Touch-ups here and there. As I see, maybe a value don't, I don't like. It's too dark. Maybe I can glow this out a little more. Just a touch. The detail is an illusion. That's right. <laughs> That's what I like. I don't know why. Um, even my uh, my first teacher, Vadim Zanginian, um, uh, Russian-Armenian artist out of Southern California, um, he used to say that it's a game. You know, you, you stand back and it looks real, but you get up close and it's a mess. And I always liked that game. So I play it. Maybe I can put a couple little more touches on some of these orcs up close. It's like, I, I, I can't really paint them. They're too small, they're too far away. They're little specks on a field, so I can imply them. If I painted them, it would look silly.
Any other characters I'm trying to fit in here? Is there Maleficent? You know, like hiding somewhere. <laughs> Jasmine and Aladdin on their flying carpet, like, you know, a whole new world. I can just fill in some of these. Those are some sort of artifacts of my wood panel. And they're there, but I don't need them to be too obvious. To sign this one today. I usually don't sign them until they're good and dry, but this one has, uh, with all the medium I was using, it's uh, pretty dry. I'll probably sign it there. I always sign it where there's the least amount of action going on. Action. I wonder where an everyday Joe like myself could go to get a little action. I've seen The Exorcist 157 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy. Now what do you think? You think of qualified? It's hard to do that voice without being really loud. <laughs> um, yeah, my signature, I definitely have always been working on that one to try to simplify it and sort of make it more like my painting. It's kind of like an impressionist. It's implying a lot of more of the detail in my name than actually is. Which little line is Aragorn? Well, he hasn't shown up on the boats yet, so he's not here. The boats are coming with all the, the, the army of the dead. With the... You know, the, the DeMalt Road. I think he's still on the DeMalt Road. He hasn't shown up yet. I should sign this one in Tolkien Elvish. I don't know if I can do that. I could pretend I could fake it. I'm just looking around. Usually there's a lot of staring at the end of a painting. It's not that exciting to watch. In fact, I admit, I'm, I work on the paintings a lot faster when I'm doing the streaming. So I'm like, oh, you guys are watching, I better do something. When I should be just staring a lot more. But that's not very fun to watch, so I have to <laughs> figure out some... Happy medium around that. I do calligraphy. Uh, I've been practicing that for a while, just some really nice handwriting. That uh, I could probably use that application on an Elvish writing, which would be kind of cool if I learned the alphabet or whatever. Um, I couldn't know that here a fountain pen is a very different quality of line than a brush. I have incorporated plenty of calligraphy in my artwork though. I should do it more in my paintings. I haven't done it in a while. Okay, yeah, I think this one might be done. I didn't I knew I wasn't gonna need to do a whole lot. Let me just stand back and look at it. Uh, yeah, the video doesn't accurately display the painting at all. One, it's skewed. It's from a different angle. 
you're getting some reflection off some of the back, even though I have the lights turned off. You know, I usually paint with more lights on. Um, that's actually really nice for me to paint, but then you guys, it's all glary, so I have half the light that I usually paint with, which is tricky. Um, and then, yeah, the colors, the, the camera doesn't capture the colors right. Uh, the white balance is always changing and stuff. Same little pockets of fire. Let's see if I can just maybe spread them out a little bit, smear them together. <coughs> sort of the same repetitive. I have the tendency to do that sometimes. Uh, connect a couple of those together. I distribute things too evenly sometimes. Um, I'll put a little more there. They should have built this outer wall taller. Those orc towers just like hit right on top. They should have made this thing like three times as tall. <laughs> it's the lowest part of the whole city. Like really, your outer wall should have been much, much taller. <laughs> You'd have a lot, not as good of a view if you had a house like right there, though. You couldn't see over this wall because it was like so big, but it'd be a lot safer, that's for sure. Those orc towers would do. March right up to the top there. Oh, can I see them? Oh, yeah, totally. Um, yeah, from where I'm sitting. Just like look in front of the painting, you can see I can't make them any more crazy visible because then it will be weird looking because they are supposed to be far away. I could maybe try to chisel out some more of these guys over here. Um, no, I can definitely see them. Maybe I'll pass the camera in front. Sometimes I can do that. I'll take the camera off my little thing here and see if I can show you a little closer. Tell me if that's good when I do that. value there. For some of these guys. Maybe a couple more 
more banners blowing in the breeze. Let's see if I can do this. It is epic. Thanks. All right. All right, one second, I'm getting this off of the thing. Oh. This is a wire I would have to tie up and get out of my face. Okay, here comes the camera. So we're going to get a little closer. So there's the Rahiram, if it will focus. Come on, focus. brand of varnish uh, I don't remember the, I use a spray varnish eventually and I don't always do that as far as varnish so you, you can see the whole you know the little banners and stuff it's kind of fun so yeah they're definitely noticeable when you get up close and see the white balance keeps changing color <laughs> that's probably more accurate right now but the values are too light so yeah, there's some of them are obscured, some of them are sharp, you know, you can't have them all. There's like a little smoke passing in front of them. Um, so I can pass over the whole thing. Yeah, it's lightening up the white balance. So this is way lighter than it is. This doesn't look right at all on the, on the video feed. <laughs> this is actually terrible. Um, I will need to varnish this one because a lot of the medium I'm using makes the paint real matte and chalky as far as the finish goes. So when I cover it with a, a, a more gloss medium it'll bring all those darks back properly uh, here's the city see look there's a Nazgul flying there he is making his sound there's the front gates so you can see like look at the bottom it's the right value now but when I go the camera adjusts and tries to make it look proper so it's, it makes it too light it is way lighter than it actually is Here's the city burning. Here's more orcs. You know, just hordes of them. You're getting some reflection from behind me too. So it's making it too light. Here's more city. There's the edge of the painting there. Um, oh, so there's... That little white speck is Gandalf fighting the the Witch King. So, since they they had that little that little encounter, um, yeah, the gloss varnish really pops them out. You're supposed to let them dry for like six months before you varnish them. So that's why sometimes I just don't. Here's the top of the city. Oh, and there's Denethor falling. Here passes Denethor, son of Ecathelion. Lord and steward of Gondor, as he like falls to his death, and then we see that you know it pans out with the pandemonium happening. <laughs> that was a good call. I, I forget who was that Luke who said to add him in there. That was that's a good call right there. Oh, there's another another Nazgul flying. There were a couple over here. There's one right there. Um, where is there another one? They, they kind of got obscured, and I added some smoke and stuff, so they might have gotten lost. 
Uh, that might be one right there. A subtle one. There's that one. Um, oh, here's the sky. Yeah, you watch the painting happen, so you get to see all these little details that other people might miss. Here's another Nazgul, there's another one there. And there's more clouds. This is great texture and stuff that's part of the, you know, the underlying bit of the painting. So there you go. I can do a front angle shot of it. See that the white balance doesn't really work right though. So this is a 22 by 33 size painting. So that's a nice big, not too big, 24 by 36. You know, you said it was your max size. You said you would want it a little smaller. So I'm like, okay, I can make it a little smaller. But I definitely wanted more room than, let's say, a 20 by 30. So I'm going to sign it right there on that corner. I'm going to put this up. If I drop the camera, I apologize. I've done that several times because this is actually really hard. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Reference at the source. Nice. Push my monitor out of the way here. Oh, hey, you guys can't see me, probably. There you go. So I have to let this one dry. If I spray varnish it, that's actually. A um, little easier to do sooner. Brush varnishing, you have to wait for at least six months. But I can spray varnish it maybe in a, a week. So I'll let this one dry for about a week or so. Try to sign it a color that's not too distracting. Might blend in with stuff. Um, you could do it like a sort of darkish, purplish green. Big old C. Kind of hard to sign it off behind the camera like this.
is. Nice long ass name I gotta sign every time. Da da da. Ha, <laughs> screwing it up. <coughs> um, yeah, Gambar is pretty good. I use that as well. Uh, if I'm gonna brush it on, I use Gambar. If I'm gonna spray it on, there's all kinds of spray oil varnish, like an aerosol. That's uh, you know, the several different brands make them. That's not really that. That those are pretty toxic though. I have to do those outside and um, leave them sit outside for at least a day because they reek. Yeah, sometimes I do mess up my own signature, like it's like crooked or so. Just making sure this one's fine. It's a little tiny, a little bit crooked. Ah, oh, this camera's like right in my face. I don't do the whole painting though with this, I'd go crazy. Like with this little tiny brush, this detailed. There we go, that's a little better. There it is. Okay. Flexible arm hanging from the ceiling I can use to move and look at the painting from different angles. It's really helpful. Okay. Well, cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to call that one done. I knew I wouldn't going to need a whole lot of time. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to varnish it before I can send you a proper high res photo because the, the darks are gone in some of these areas. Uh, dark oil paint tends to dry a little chalky. Oh yeah, sorry it was... Uh... Um, so uh, yeah, oil paint tends to dry a little chalky in the darks. So I'll have to give this one a few days, varnish it, and then I can do a proper high res image. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll you'll it'll it'll look great. So uh, awesome. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and checking out our live stream while I'm doing this really complicated painting from scratch with an audience you know that's always tough sometimes I see little touch up things I can do here and there last minute um, but uh, yeah please subscribe on whatever whatever uh, thing you're watching on so you can see more of these videos um, Awesome. Well, thanks, uh, Rebecca. I'm glad you uh, glad you like it. Um, so uh, I'll be doing two more in the next coming two weeks. So as, as we mentioned, you have first dibs on those if you want them. Um, but to anyone else who's watching, you're welcome to buy prints of this piece. Just click on the link there below the video. Uh, check out our Patreon and subscribe if you'd like to, to help us out and support the gallery and get some cool special rewards as a patron as well. Um, and then you can follow me, Christopher Clark Art is my hashtag, and uh, Facebook and Instagram and everything else. So, um, I'll plug in my pewter before it dies here. 
So, uh, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I might try to do a stream this week, a, a random, like, a fine art stream, if, if I have something cooking. Otherwise, next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, same thing, doing Lord of the Rings. It's going to be the, the Fellowship leaving Lothlorien uh, on the boats on the river. Um, <clears throat> so that'll be a fun one. Another great, get to use some great light in that piece, too. So, uh, awesome. Thanks, guys. I'm Christopher Clark. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later.